Hey guys, Serial Simmer here. Today I am going to be jumping back into our Aspiration Challenge, Friends of the Animals, the little mini series we're doing currently. We are on episode five now, and in the last episode, we did adopt two new animals. We adopted Pickles, which we renamed to Cod Pickles, who is a dog, and a cat named Fiona, who was really struggling on the beach. And we did end up taking everyone to the vet last time to get checked out, especially Fiona because of the stars. And they said she was totally fine, yet she still has the stars. So I'm interested to see today if she's still got those little stars going around her head. And if you guys have had that same kind of glitch or issue, let me know for sure. And if you fixed it, definitely let me know how you fixed it. Okay, so before we unpause here, we have Snook. This is our Sim, Roxanne Lung. This is Cod Pickles. And this is our cat, Fiona. We have been thinking about renaming Fiona to something fish related because we do love fishing. And this episode, I would like to focus on earning money. Yeah, see, Fiona still has, she still has these stars. Oh, Cod Pickles has learned not to jump on counters. Awesome. So we have successfully trained one out of four misbehaviors. Oh yes, and um, Fiona would like to mate. So we're hoping that we don't have kittens, but it's a strong possibility given that we live on Brindleton Bay Beach with lots of strays running around. Oh, and we found out that Cod Pickles is a um, troublemaker, which does not bode well for us. It looks like Snook needs to go potty and also maybe has fleas. Or maybe they just got sprayed by a skunk again. I think that in the last part they did get sprayed by a skunk. Yep. <laughs> Snook learned to pee outside. Does that count? No, that doesn't count towards the misbehavior goal. Uh -oh. We need to clean the litter box. Oh, that's a great place to pee just right in front of the front door there, Snook. The other thing we are working on is becoming companions with two animals. So either Fiona or Cod Pickles would be great options for that. Looks like we got woken up from being so stinky, so let's go ahead and take a shower. Sore back from the cheap bed. I know we really need to earn some money here. We were initially trying to earn money through the writing skill and becoming a writer, like a freelance writer, or just um, sort of doing it on our own. But that hasn't really been working out for us. I think we're making about $16 a day in royalties, and it looks like we keep getting woken up by animals. Maybe let's go ahead and lecture you not to do that and lecture you not to scratch. Cod Pickles has learned not to wake up Sims. I swear being on a tiny lot like makes this happen faster. Oh my gosh, and Snook has defeated another squirrel in Podic Pod Combat. Should we even bother giving them a bath? Let's try. Today's mail has been delivered 120. We do barely have 120. Oh, and we have almost forgotten that we were trying to repeal free love which got instated, I think, in like the first episode. So we might really need to work on that. So maybe let's go ahead after that, let's go ahead and sell all of these and weed. Oh no, pickles. Do you think Snook's finally clean now? Okay, $19 today from royalties, great. Now pickles already needs a bath. Okay, that's enough bathing. You're, you're clean enough. I'm sure you're gonna get dirty in like two seconds anyway, so it's fine. Okay, we're almost there. Cod Pickles has learned not to play in puddles. And Snook wants to go on a walk. Maybe let's just play fetch for a minute because we don't really have time to go for a walk right now. <sighs> now Pickles is in the bush. Oh dear. Well, at least they're already stinky, I guess. So they can't get more stinky. Yeah, they got sprayed by a skunk, but we didn't have, um, we haven't washed them yet. So, oh well. I guess we'll do that next. We also need to feel the love five times. So that counted as one towards that. <gasps> and our cow plant is growing, which is great. Not sure why we stopped giving cod pickles a bath. Oh, jeez. Yikes, Fiona has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness. It's going to be really hard to tell with Fiona. Because she already looks... Oh, I think she must have gotten sick because she's got the green ooze coming out of her mouth again. So let's go ahead and give her a vet treat. Why are you so stinky? Z. 
baby, come on. Cod Pickles has learned not to bark at Sims. Awesome, so we've finally, we've already trained out four behaviors. All right, let me pause here for just a minute in the midst of all this chaos and let's see if we can't need a pair of bells. Check on the neighborhood plan. We might actually need to go somewhere without the pets today. Green gardening is in the lead with our last point, but juiced community is not far behind it. I would really rather not get juiced community. Okay, we really need to lead this. And then if we could sell all of these to earn a little bit more money, that'd be really great. Spray for bugs. And Snook still just really wants to go for a walk. I'm really sorry, Snook, I just have to earn some money. I love how Cod Pickles is literally just standing there being sprayed by the bug spray. That's probably not great. Oh, well, that's good that you've moved outside. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's a boy or not. Gender male. Yes, it is a boy. Okay. So that means that potentially Snook and him could have puppies. Well, no, Snook is spayed. Okay, cool. Okay, voting is now closed. Green Gardening did receive the most votes, but that means that our repeal process did not get completed. So free love is still in effect. I'm going to let Snook out. so that they can go and get some energy out. And then we really need to sleep. <gasps> it looks like somebody got us some more feathers, yay! That's so exciting. Okay, so she kind of woke up at 4 a.m. here and did find some more feathers, but it looks like we've got a couple extras. We do have one crow feather that we need, but we can sell this other one. We have a parrot feather, which we haven't gotten before. We did get another spotted six and feather. That's $200, so we're definitely gonna be selling that. We have a finch feather and a duck feather. Oh, and we can't cook when that's right there. Okay, so I might put it over here then. Okay, so I think because she's kind of naturally become a gardener, I'd like to kind of focus on gardening with her today. So I think I'm gonna to go to Henford on Bagley and also Tartosa and try and see if I can't find some good plants to plant. And Cod Pickles has been sprayed by a skunk. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and give them a bath and brush. Well, I guess bath is a little more important here. It takes so long to bathe a dog. I don't know if Cod and Fiona like each other very much. He's like they are getting along super well. Can I like encourage him to be nice with Snook? Oh wait, not with Snook, with Fiona. Be nice to Fiona. All right, our little garden here on day two is already making us quite a bit of money, but I think once we actually get some good plants going in here, we'll really be doing a lot better. Oh my gosh, Ian died. <laughs> Ian Robles, I'm feeling kind of lucky and geek con is on. You want to try it win the festival contest with me? No, I still don't want to hang out with you, but how did you die? Oh my gosh, so that means Bernice is single then. <laughs> okay, hold on. We gotta check recent neighborhood stories. And I noticed that in my last couple of episodes, but the way that I get all of these to pop up at once is with a mod from Twisted Mexi. And if you just go ahead and Google Twisted Mexi mods, you'll definitely be able to find this mod in their list. Ian Robles in the Robles household has died. Ian thought he could conquer a mountain, but the mountain conquered him. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I definitely think we should maybe call Bernice. And Cod Pickles has been sprayed by a skunk again. I think I'm seriously going to do a tally for this episode and go ahead and see how many times this happens. I don't even, when did we meet you? Okay, I've called to inform you that your great, great second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Uh, money, money, give now. Under what conditions or no thanks? What do we think that Roxanne would say? I feel like she has been struggling and honestly, I feel like Roxanne would say money, money, give me now. But I know that that's going to mean that she's going to have to get married to somebody. We'll see if that happens. If not, I don't think I just want to take the money and say under what conditions, because that doesn't feel realistic to the storyline to me. And also this is kind of a rags to riches and that feels a little bit too cheaty. <gasps> oh my gosh, Bernice just walked in. Yeah, my uh, dog kind of got sprayed by a skunk. Sorry about that. 
All right, maybe we could go ahead and give a heartfelt compliment, try to cheer up, discuss sad mood, ask about her career, console about death. Bernice is a corporate raider at the Dewey Chatham Howie Incorporated. Oh, interesting. I wonder if she likes that job. That doesn't seem like her kind of thing. She's very uncomfortable because of pickles being so stinking stinky. Oh my gosh, green gardening. Okay. Well, I guess we can invite this guy in. Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? Oh, that feels so fast. But I feel so awful because her spouse just died. Does she have kids? Let's say I don't think that's a good idea yet. How about that? Because I don't even know if she has kids and we don't have... Current children too? Yeah, okay, so I don't know, that's a lot. It's not that that couldn't be really fun, but um, let's ask her if she's single. She's not seeing anyone else yet, is she? Her niece is single. Um, excuse me? No, get out of here. Yeah, you get him, cod pickles. I almost said snook. I'm gonna yell at my dog, come into my house and yell at my dog. All right, I think we need to travel we have a little bit of money right now so i'm thinking maybe building a greenhouse would be a good idea a good investment so i think i'm going to start by going to henford on bagley here and it's raining here and there's a bunch of werewolves let's go over here maybe we can haggle we're feeling pretty happy so okay sweet let's buy discounted Oh. Apples, black beans, blueberries, blackberries, cherries. I think we already have dragon fruit is like 900. We don't have enough for that. Even on sale. Green beans, green peas, more mushrooms, onions, pears. Pomegranates aren't bad. Hmm. I wonder if we buy a pomegranate and then maybe I'll go fishing around here really quickly and we can see if we can come back and get that dragon fruit. Okay, where's the fishing spot around these parts? Thank you for shopping at our grocery store. Okay, maybe I'll just leave this here for some, oh, can't, can't do that, that's littering. You can't do that in the sun. Just back to our good old ways. Not getting much though, it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and see how we do. Okay, we still need about a hundred something dollars. So I don't know that we're gonna be able to make it before the shop closes today. So the shop has closed now that it's 7 p.m. So we're pretty much back to where we started. I think maybe I'll just really, really quickly go ahead and travel then to Tartosa and see if they're still open and have anything good. Closes at 6 p.m. So they closed like an hour earlier. Well, that's a bummer. All right, well, we might as well just head home then. And it is so cloudy in the fall here. Okay, so we have our little pomegranate and we have the rest of our stuff here. I think I'm gonna try and put a few things, try and see how big of like a cheap greenhouse I can make. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made this little greenhouse over here. By little, I mean absolutely ginormous. It's much larger than our house. It's basically just one roof piece that was a gabled roof that I um, made into sort of this like rounded roof. I did use the new um, greenhouse kit to make this. And here is the new greenhouse kit door, which is pretty much the only thing I spent any real money on. I did want to go for the double door, but um, that was $400, which was half of the money that we really had at the moment. So really all we got today was our pomegranate. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant that over here. And we have our basil here, sage, parsley, blackberries, and these are our chrysanthemums. And these are all cherry trees. Hmm. 
Interestingly, it would appear we can weed through the glass roof. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and fertilize these. Looks like this fertilizing is working because we are already getting the option to evolve quite a lot of these. And here comes stinky cod pickles. What do you guys want? Lecture about eating poop. Yeah, do that. Who cares about the barking? Sick, are you serious? Do not eat poop. Oh, the cat poop. That's what he was doing. Maybe I'll go ahead and put this bowl out in the greenhouse for now. I think that I'm going to start narrowing it down to one bath per day. Squirrel bite. Okay, eight hours later. Cod pickles is finally clean, and we are tense from getting married for money. Oh, and now Snook's back in the bush. Oh, and now Snook begin examining. Um, give treat, wellness treat. We should be able to handle this, no problem. All right, it is morning, 10 13. It sounds like it's time for us to get out of bed. It's also harvest fest, which is kind of a bummer. And our animals found us a little present. That it's so fluffy toy, which I think I'll go ahead and let them keep. And she is autonomously gardening. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on becoming companions with more of our pets here and seeing if we can't get that milestone. And Snook has been sprayed by a skunk. Okay, we have just asked Pickles to go outside and go potty. Um, and we are taking out the cat litter. And then I think that I want to try and go to Hemford and Bagley again today and that we have some more money from this morning. And I think maybe it would be nice to take Bernice with us. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Bernice, we'll see you there. Ooh, more vampires here again. Let's like maybe do an inside joke, discuss sad mood. Banter with old friend, friendly hug. Maybe we'll just try a little flirt and see how that goes. She's sad right now, so I'm not really sure if she'll be ready for that. Although to be fair, she did ask to move in. Oh, okay, it seems like she did like that. Let's maybe just try and cheer her up one more time. Let's see if that doesn't help. All right, and then let's go ahead and see if we can't haggle with, let's sweat, what a rush. We weren't even exercising, but apparently we like fitness. Sure, that's cool. Let's go ahead and ask him if we can get a discount again today. Oh, she does not look like she's having it today. Nope. All right, well, let's see if maybe we can't afford. And see if she still has the dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, it's still like $100 out of reach, you guys. This is ridiculous. Do we have anything we could sell? I guess we could try and sell some wellness treats. We'll definitely need those. Maybe we should try Agnes's shop. Begonias are pretty good. Bird of Paradise is definitely not bad. I already have chrysanthemums. Do you have any orchids, ma'am? Roses are good. Valerian root. Interesting. Is that from the vampire pack? Don't see any orchids. So I think I'm going to go for the next most expensive thing that I've been able to see, and that's these birds of paradise. She only has one. So I'll just have to start with that. Okay, and then let's see if we can't kind of catch up to Bernice here. Yeah, here she is. She might be leaving. Maybe let's try to give a romantic gift. Oh, she's gone. That's a bummer. All right, well, I think we'll head home and go plant our bird of paradise then. Maybe let's go ahead and confide insecurely to Pickles. We really need to clean this bathtub. 
And then give Snook a bath. Okay, so we pretty much didn't care of our garden as much as we can today. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the bowl and just do a little bit of like house maintenance. Make sure everybody's good. The litter box is clean. Fiona is going for a run around on the beach. I don't think that I've got a trash plant right there. That's interesting. I don't think that she is still ready to mate. So hopefully we won't have any kittens. And funnily enough, I don't know if you guys have noticed throughout the episode, but Fiona seems to like to sleep under the covers, or at least that's what I'm imagining here, is that she is sleeping underneath the covers um, by Roxanne's feet. And then we have Pickles here, and I believe Snook in here as well. So this is our cute little family just sleeping in our tiny house. Pretty stinking adorable. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here, you guys. We did do a lot today. We've gotten pretty far, at least I'm um, halfway or more than halfway through the rest of this Maspiration milestone. And we definitely did meet our goal of making quite a bit more money and built an entire greenhouse, although it is a significantly cheaper one than what I was hoping we'd be able to build. I do think we are on our way to finally having some more money, which is really, really great. And yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and pick this up again in the next episode. If you guys know if you want to have another animal adopted or if you have any name suggestions for Fiona, please go ahead and comment those below and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye!